Welcome back guys. Today I'm sharing with you something so so important. Is it something that um, I have done for years and I thought this is the right season, this is the right time to share with my family and what better time to do it but now. And so this is cash out side hustles cash out side hustles for Africa, especially in this season. And I'm willing to share with you four of them. Number three and four are particularly very dear to me because there are things I actually did that gave me some sort of respite, money on the side, and also made me a you know, to get to know people. That was the great part. So if you stay to the end of this video, you're gonna get all four and much more, okay? Now, if today is the first time seeing my face, welcome. My name is Chisa Mutebeaka, and on this channel, we talk about all things leveling up on our income, personal lives, and building wealth, okay? As Africans living anywhere in the world. And that doesn't mean it cannot benefit you, if you even if you're not African, okay? All right, so going straight to the point, I remember that I haven't told you guys how I started the money journey in my life. And I used to consider myself, um, you know, like somebody who started late, but I will do that in another whole video. But on this um, particular episode, I just want to share with you four side hustle ideas. I think you can start off now. I agree that, you know, if you're going to succeed, you know, cashing out in this December season. Oh, by the way, did I say happy new month? This is happy December, guys. Oh my gosh. All right. I hope this month brings you finality, wealth, you know, bottom of the pot blessings, if you know what I mean. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, so moving on to why um, December is such a good time to make this happen. I, I wanted to say that even though it would have been better that you, um, maybe I had done this video like October to remind you of this side hustles and how you can, you know, you'll be able to prep to get more people in, but it's still not late. This is the first week of December and you can totally still smash it within your, you know, if you have social circle, leveraging people you know and your online contacts. Okay. So moving on to the first idea, the first way you can make money on the side, you know, without the good thing is that you don't need to invest any money upfront to be able to cash out on the side hustles that's a great one number one is commission based sales for products the yes now let me explain let me give an example not to explain let me give an example so that it's crystal clear so assuming you're somebody who loves let's say shoes for um for women right maybe shoes for celebratory events right you know a lot of men women are going to top up on their shoes they're going to buy new shoes for christmas and new year and all of that and you really really love shoes i know what i'm saying something you really love so that you won't give any excuses why you wouldn't start it so all you need to do is approach a shoe manufacturing company um, those kind of shoes that are always in demand with that people want to buy in this season Okay, approach a shoe manufacturing company or a distributor, right? And then um, and Make an agreement to sell for them and get a commission, right? So this is like affiliate marketing just at this time you're doing it offline You're doing it with real people or you're you know going face to face to the brick and mortar shop to be able to negotiate to be a sales agent for them, right? So you're gonna earn at a commission. That means they're gonna sell. So if that shoe goes for let's say uh, twenty-five dollars in in, a, and I'm just giving an example in a shop, in a normal store or boutique or all that, maybe the, they will be able to give you at say eighteen dollars or seventeen dollars, and then you make let's say five dollars on each. You get what I mean? So even if you sell at um, say twenty-three dollars. Still below what other people are selling you'll be able to cash out in this season so that's just an example so that can be for anything but I think that you should check out products that are in demand for December December January kind of so that that way you are sure that at least you're gonna make sales within a short time okay number two online product marketing this is like number one the only difference is that this is online so if you found an online store that sells also an in-demand product you could just send them an email a phone call whatever it is or whatsapp messaging telling them that you want to market their product or services yeah for the season or even beyond and then all they have to do is send you pictures of the product or you get the, the pictures of their product and use your online platforms like from whatsapp status 
to broadcast messages to Facebook to you know Instagram you know any platform at all even YouTube to market those products talk about them talk about the benefit talk about the price um, you know advantage and all of that and be able to generate sales for this brand the truth is yes you don't even need the invent you don't need the inventory right you just need the pictures of the product and then when somebody places an order you make sure that you facilitate the delivery through the shop and you also get paid so this might work like an affiliate link where if they buy through your link you get paid or people just order through you pay you then you go get the product and deliver to them now because it's online you may not always have the people who are um, asking for what it is that you're advertising within your region so you must be able to work out a way that they put them you work with the company so they deliver of course it's their platform is their product so they deliver to the people who have ordered and you make your money right the number three and four which are my favorites like okay now i've done a bit of one and two as well but i haven't done them as much as i've done three and four so number four is gift packaging and delivery oh my gosh this is hot sale in this particular season now when i used to do this back between 2011 and 2015 i used to go to a market an open air market where i'll get things for you know for wholesale pricing so things like beverages gift items um even ankara materials um uh, body care products a lot of those things wine pastries you know cookies all of that and then i get the pricing then i also get the cost for a good packaging in those days i used to have the hamper basket right hamper basket was it for me and it was really 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 exciting and then i get to also learn i had to learn like in the crash course actually i worked four months in a gift packaging company to learn how to wrap how to make good ribbon like you know packages that will wow people's mind when you see the packaging before you even say the gift okay so i learned all of that so what i did was first I'll go out reminding people that it's a special season of the year and they need to say thank you to the people that matter most to them, right? So it could be their bosses, it could be their um, employees, it could be their children, it could be your relatives, whoever, or friends. And then you see most people, if I talk to five, if I talk to five people at, in a day, most likely three of them are going to say, oh yeah, that's true, that's a great service. It just reminded me I have people I really need to appreciate and they will usually make orders. So I'm telling you this because it is something I have done and I did for years that can work. And this is a perfect thing. Season. this December Christmas season is a perfect season for people to want to give back just that in most cases they might not be thinking in line with what it is that you're offering which is why you become a gift consultant for them making life easier for them and let me tell you one catch when I used to do this business it wasn't just a seasonal business yes I used to do the hamper bit towards this season but I also used to do it all year round now how I used to do it was I used to go around asking people that we can help them manage the special dates in their loved ones life so you know especially men who were always forgetting the bad days of their wives so they will usually say oh my god that's a good thing so I'm gonna tell you my wife's birthday and her name so you make you remind me a month or two weeks ahead of time so that we can plan a surprise gift for her so that's a clue, right? So they give me birthday dates for their children, say their son is about to turn 13 or turn 18 or their daughter is about to graduate from school. You know, all those milestones, if it's not going to happen that year, we note them down. And then we keep a, you know, using a software, we keep a reminder software where we can look at it and say, oh, okay, Mr. XYZ's wife's birthday is in three weeks, so we need to contact him to say, oh, we are reminding you of your wife's birthday and all of this and all of that. And it solves a lot, whole lot of troubles and problems for mostly men. So I'm giving you a clue. So with that, you always have people book in and say, oh my God, I need to do a surprise birthday for my wife. I need to do a surprise gift to her office. I need to do this. Okay. So going back to this, when you're able to get this, all you need to do is to have your gift items per hamper. And then we need to, we used to categorize the hampers in different categories. So you can have like a breakfast pack hamper, you can have like a bathroom pack hamper, you can have like a wine and groceries um, hamper, 
no wine and pastries hamper you can also have a groceries hamper right so uh, you look at the things that belong to the that, that can belong to a bathroom hamper things like body wash hair cream um, um you know um, oils soaps you know cleansers all of those kind of things for maybe a particular brand and usually it's great to also be able to have an idea of what brand the person that you know that needs this gift ha um, uses that way it becomes easier to really wow them okay now also in like grocery hampers you have things like you know rice packs of rice you have macaroni spaghetti tomato paste um, ketchup you know butter um, you know all of those spices um, vegetable oil you know all of that category of things and wow it's usually for me that is one hamper that you're sure to sell out in December right groceries <laughs> Africans love rice we love to celebrate we love food that, and nobody can say no to an extra oil extra tin of tomatoes and all that okay now that goes for all the categories whether you want to do a wine also a lot of men like the wine and pastry category so you can have choice wines you know um, in a combination of them pastries that adults will love chocolates and the rest that will make your hamper really exciting your breakfast hamper can also have cereals milk all of those categories right okay so now number four is printing gift items like t-shirts mugs printing on them so all you need to do is go out there find out how much print people who are doing great printing how much they are using to print on cups and stuff find out also major gift items that you want to major on same mugs t-shirts um, mufflers you know whatever it is you know or or um what they call this now jotters because a lot of people are also going to have weddings you know funerals and all of that celebration you know this season we have a way of keeping those kind of celebrations for later in the year so you might actually get a contract to do for like thousands of people you know all you need to do is to make sure that you have quality prints and make sure that people will love the variety of gift items that you provide and again you don't need money to start it all you need is to go to those who are printing look at their work take pictures of them look at the different types of prints look at the different kinds of um, gift items that they also have make sure you get quality materials that you want to print on finding their cost now and then have the pricing ready for the different categories so all you need to do is to ask people who want you know those things done show them the categories you know negotiate with them about the pricing and they make the orders for the number of items they want and voila you just go help the printer make money while you're cashing out as well and i hope that somehow something about this video strikes a chord in you now this is something you can decide to do only for this season you can also decide to do all year round remember side hustles can always even make sometimes make more money than the main hustles so the idea is whatever it is you do put in your best put a passion into it remember that money goes to people who are committed to serving people the best value Keep that in mind money goes to people who are intentional about serving people the best value so don't take any kind of product don't take inferior things don't take prints that will wash don't print on cups in a way that when they wash it two or three times it begins to peel and also be creative with the gift item make sure you look for great wordings people may not know exactly what they want to communicate but you know being able to words your uh, your mugs beautifully so you can give ideas of what people can write on mugs for their loved ones and that will also you should also incorporate it in your cost you know without separating both right right so it becomes like you're your consultant on um on wording ideas for their loved ones there is always a way to make more money and i hope that these four ideas you can even expand on them on them and find even much more income in between them and be able to cash out until i come your way again go make money go make money this is the chi money gang welcome and thank you for watching till now let me know what else you need me to talk about in the comment section and i will do a video about it as always all right bye